Hey guys, it's Andy Elliott. One of the number one questions I have salesmen ask me all the time is, Andy, how do I close more deals on the first pencil? So, during this video, I'm going to show you how to present the pencil, how to close more customers on your first pencil, and how to increase your gross. You don't want to miss this video. Get ready to rock and roll. All right, guys, let's get started. So, presenting the pencil is one of the most important things a salesperson can do. What I see a lot of people do when they present the pencil is literally go in and they're ready to make concessions already. Look, do you know what a concerned look looks like? It looks like this. Look at my face. Do I look concerned? Not a chance. But when you've been dealing with the customer that says they want to pay $18,000 for a $22,000 car, what kind of look do you have when you go in and you say, hey guys, I got great news. And all of a sudden, you know that they're going to object, you feel uncertain, you look like you're already ready to make concessions, and your customer feels it. During negotiating, people always remember the last sentence or the last few words of the negotiation or presentation. The way that I was taught when I got into the business is that, hey guys, I've got great news. I would present the deal, sign here, and I'll get your new car cleaned up. Silence. It was like this cold air would creep in. And guess what? The negotiation bell would go off. Ding, 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 ding. Watch, let me show you what I mean. And I'm going to show you how I do it, and I'm going to show you how you're going to start doing it as well. This will change your life. This is the way we were taught. You've been in the car business for a long time. I'm sure, this sounds very familiar. Hey guys, I got great news. Four ninety nine a month, thousand down. Sign right here. What do you think the customer's doing? They say, ah. This is my time to negotiate. I've been waiting for a time to ask for a better deal. You just gave it to me. Thank you very much, Mr. Salesperson. Now listen, if a customer is dead determined to throw an objection at you no matter what, no matter what, you're gonna get it anyways. But what if there was a method where you could go in, present the pencil, and you've done such a good job selling the car, making them love it, when you went in and presented it, you never gave them an opportunity to negotiate. What if that was a possibility? Well, it is. Guys, I'm about to get right back to the video. I want to tell you, number one, thank you for watching this video. Please like this video. If you like what you're watching right now, click the button. Give me a thumbs up on it. Comment below. Anything you need, I got you. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Set your notification bell so every single day when I put out brand new cutting edge training videos, you can get them. So my goal is, I am going to go in and I have the proposal, okay? We'll call this P for proposal. This is the pencil, the four square, the deal. This is what we are going to offer. This is our offer to the customer. When we bring it in, the second we present it, I want you to present your proposal in a matter of six seconds. Follow me. How many seconds should it take you to present it. Six seconds, no longer. Why? Because what we are going to do is I'm going to show you the first part of the presentation, which is this. It's going to take six seconds. Is here. The second part is going to take 16 seconds. Okay? And this 16 seconds is going to be focused on one thing. It's going to be doing what? Focus on when they want their payment due. Now you say, Andy, explain to me. I'm about to show you in full action so you can completely understand it. So you see this right here? This is presenting the pencil. This is me coming out. This is saying, hey guys, I got great news at $3.99 and a thousand cash down. Sign here, I'll get your new car cleaned up. Oh, and I apologize, I forgot to ask you guys. When did you want to set your first payment due? I didn't even ask you. Did you want to set it towards the beginning of the month, the middle of the month? What is going to work best for you and your family? I take, and, and follow me, and I do a 16 second, when do you want your first payment due? And I slow down, and I'm sucking their mind and their attention 
towards when they want their payment due. And again, I'm going to show you this in full motion in a second. I'm going to explain to you what we're going to do next, how you do it, how you close it, and how you tie it all in. And by the way, let me explain this to you, okay? When you want your first payment due is a diversion to get you off of the numbers. What I'm hoping is that by the way that I present this to you, you will say to yourself, well, this is a lot higher than we plan to pay, but there is no negotiation bill. You aren't giving me an opportunity to what? Negotiate. So this is what I want my payment due. And the next thing you know, you're signing first pencil close and you're done. And by the way, if the customer is going to object. If they're going to be a hard customer, you're going to get it anyways. But I'm about numbers. I don't gamble, but I do play the numbers game. And I know this. I can close five out of 10 people on a first pencil doing this every single time. So how does that look, Andy? How is it done? Let me show you. Let's act like this is a pencil here. It says $4.99 a month, 1,000 down, price is $18.9. Doesn't really matter to me. These don't mean anything. All right, watch me present it. Hey guys, so I got great news. At $18.9, $4.99 a month, and 1,000 cash down. If you'll sign here, I'll get your new card cleaned up. You know what, and I apologize, I didn't even ask you guys, when did you guys want to set your first payment due? Were you guys thinking towards the beginning of the month, the middle of the month? When's gonna work best for you and your family? I really apologize, we didn't even talk about that earlier. When would be best? The middle of the month, cool. Maybe like the 20th, the 15th, what's gonna be better? 15th, all right, cool. So I'm gonna let my boss know you want your new payment due around the 15th. You'll sign right here, I'll get your new card cleaned up. Guys, thank you so much. Stick your arm out every time. Thank you so much. Every time you say thank you so much, watch this. Do I want the signature first or the handshake first? Handshake first. Every single time. Watch this. All right, guys, great news. $18.9, $4.99 a month, 1000 for your trade sign here. I'll get your new card cleaned up. Watch. Six seconds. You know what? I apologize. I totally forgot to ask you. When did you guys want to set your first payment due? Were you thinking towards the beginning of the month? The middle one, the, the month, what, what is going to work best for you and your family? And I really apologize, I never even asked you guys that before. What's going to be best? When is? The beginning of the month? Okay, cool. Uh, more like the first or the fifth? Ask another question. Ask another question. More like the first or the fifth? The fifth. Awesome. I'm going to let my boss know you want your payment due around the fifth. If you'll sign here, I'll get your new car cleaned up. Thank you so much for your business. Shake their hand. Shake the wife's hand. Shake the kid's hand. Every single time. Guys, what I want you to understand is, is this, is that time to focus on pencils, guess what? Shows that you have concern about the pencil. Do I show concern for this? Nah. I show concern for this. How many times do you go in on a deal and you go to present your pencil, but you look like this, looking at that. Guys, I don't care how ugly this deal is. Our job for a living is to deliver bad news. That's your job. If you wanna be one of the top sales per people in the country, guys, this isn't even about being a great closer, but great closers are great presenters. If you wanna be great at convincing people, convince people to pay attention to the payment and not to pay attention to the numbers. And you say, Andy, can I do that? Absolutely. You can do it all the time. You don't think that people know that they're going to pay more money for a car when they come in? Yes, they do. But are you, and when are you, giving them the opportunity to negotiate? Are you letting them ring the bell? Watch. This is the old school way. Hey, guys. $18,999, dollars Sign here. That's it. They're going to say, I'm not paying that every damn time. Don't let that dead silence ruin your ordeal. It is 2020. I know we were taught the first person who talks loses. That's not the truth. Now it's about changing the subject, drawing attention and concern to when they want the payment due and not the numbers on the deal. Okay, I made 700 grand a year selling cars. 
I promise you, you want bigger first payment closes, this is your way. Let me go through it one more time with you. Guys, I've got great news. $18,999 a month, 1000 down, sign here, I'll get your new car cleaned up. And I apologize, I didn't even ask you, when did you guys want to set your first payment due? Towards the beginning of the month, the middle of the month? What is going to work best for you and your family? I, I apologize, I, I don't know why I didn't ask you that. Do you see the concern that I have towards this? Am I showing any concern towards this? No. Lots of people don't know how to present pencils. Since they're not great at presenting pencils, guess what happens? They lose deals, they lose gross, and you don't know the psychology of selling. This is about presenting, it's about understanding the psychology of people. They're going to grab onto the backside of the last part of each sentence during a paragraph. The backside of the sentence is when you want the payment due, not the payment. This right here won't work every time, nothing does. And if anybody tells you something will work every time, they're lying to you, okay? Here's what I'll tell you. This right here, try it. Don't try it once, don't try it twice, go try it a hundred times. You get great at it, you're going to start closing more first payment deals than you ever imagined. Guys, rock and roll. Keep it up. Car Sales Nation for life. Make sure if you're not in our Facebook group, you join it. Andy Elliott, Car Sales Nation. See you guys soon. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, thank you for watching the full video. I started when I was 18 training just like you. No matter where you're at in life, I want to tell you this. Being committed is all that it takes. I put out free training content on YouTube every single day to make sure that I can take you to the next level of life. I have over 500 free videos. Please make sure that you like the video. Shoot me a comment below and shoot me a text message. I'd love to get to know you, okay? If I haven't met you yet, 918-210-0254. Take a second, guys. Shoot me a text message. You're important to me. I have your back for life. We're going to go all the way to the top together. I appreciate you. you guys have a blessed day. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and set your alerts for the daily training video. Thank you.